Thank you, Mr. President and members of this body. For a moment there, I was not going to come to the well of the Senate today, but after thinking about the experiences that I had last night, I felt an obligation to rise and share my experience, not just with members of this body, but with anyone out there who's listening to the words that I speak. I had an opportunity last night to go to a Board of Commissioners meeting in Clayton County and to voice my opposition to Clayton's decision to shut down the transportation service, CTRAN, effective the end of March. Now I was joined at this meeting by members from the community. I was joined by business leaders. I was joined by academics as well. And the resounding plea from those that joined me in Clayton County was to keep this system running. The commissioner, the chairman of Clayton County Board of Commissioners had put me on the agenda, but the board saw fit to vote to remove me from the agenda, so I have no other choice but to stand before you today and share the words with you that I was going to share with the Board of Commissioners in Clayton County last night. You see, I was only limited to two minutes of speaking, and those two minutes were only for public comments. I ran a little bit over and I asked the board's indulgence for another 30 seconds of which they summarily voted to deny me an additional 30 seconds to finish that final sentence that I had to say last night. What I was going to share with Clayton County was that I was here last night at their meeting to speak for those that didn't have a vote on the Board of Commissioners. I was there to speak for those that rode paratransit. I understand there's 37 trips, 37,000 trips annually of paratransit riders in Clayton County. There's over two and a half million riders, and that's trips, not individuals that take C-TRAN every single year. I was going to tell the commissioners that I was there to speak for the bus drivers, the mechanics, the dispatchers, and a whole host of others whose jobs were in jeopardy by the loss of this system. I also told them that I was there as chairman of Georgia's Legislative Black Caucus, representing the members who had concerns about this system shutting down. We understand as legislators and as business people, and I have a business in that Southern Crescent, that South Side of Atlanta, about how fragile the economy is. I also understand the impact of dismantling this system, in my opinion, would have on the overall economic development, not just in Clayton County, but the entire Southern Crescent. This decision to shut down the system is being made at a time when we are just beginning to emerge from this great recession. And if Georgia and the Southern Crescent ever going to be an economic engine of the South, they must recognize the importance of public transportation to the over 250,000 residents of this county. Just this past week, our governor unveiled a transportation plan for the entire region that, in my opinion, would go a long ways in saving the transportation service in Clayton County. And I understand in the governor's plan that it puts out a referendum in two years. And I was there last night to ask the Board of Commissioners to keep this system running until the governor's bill could get passed and signed and this referendum be put on the ballot. In my opinion, shutting down CTRAN would have a devastating impact on the south side of Atlanta. And I felt it was my public duty to stand up and share those words with the commissioners last night. I have to thank those that came with me last night, that followed me. And I also have to thank the members of the press who saw fit to report on what's happening down in Clayton County. I also have to thank Chairman Bell, who was gracious enough to attend the public hearing that we had in this building last week, where we heard an opportunity to hear from not just the riders of this system, we heard an opportunity to hear from the business community, from the chambers of commerce who said that closing down this system and dismantling this system would have a devastating effect 
on the economy of this county. We heard from small business owners and even the owner of IT2 who made the public comment that if this system goes down, then we're going to have to find alternative transportation for over 35 percent of our students. Ms. Ingram went on to mention that if this system goes away, that ITT Technical may consider relocating outside of Clayton County. I was there at the Board of Commissioners meeting to tell the commissioners about the elderly, the disabled, and even those that are on dialysis that ride these paratransit buses that had no other alternative ways to get to their physicians and even to their dialysis clinics. This public hearing that we had this past week in this chamber gave me an opportunity and members of not just the Legislative Black Caucus, but also members of the Democratic Caucus to talk about our ideas on transportation and moving this entire region forward. Georgia cannot afford to miss out on any more stimulus money related to transportation, nor can we afford to fall further and further behind our neighboring states. And you see there are opportunities, there are options to save in this system. It was mentioned by one of the commissioners last night that they're at a 7% cap that they can levy out at the airport. They may very well be, but I know this legislative body can even raise that cap, of which would raise an additional $2.5 million for Clayton County. Last night, as I stood before the commissioners begging for that additional 30 seconds, I couldn't help but to think about all of the other members of this community that didn't even have an opportunity to speak two minutes. But because they wouldn't give me that 30 seconds, I felt it was important that I share these words with you this morning. But I would like to implore, I would like to plead with the commissioners in Clayton County to reconsider their actions and to rescind their vote on shutting down this system. If the Southern Crescent ever is going to be the jewel of the South that I know it can be, public transportation has to be a part of the solution. Thank you, and God bless you.